PLA, PETG, ABS, ASA, carbon fiber, nylon, polycarbonate. What does all this mean? What do you use it for? What, how do you print it? What is easiest to print? What's not easy to print? Let's have a look. If you want something that's easy to print with low warping, great for prototypes, display models, toys, and cosplay parts, I would use PLA. Only downside of PLA, it's not great for outdoor use. It's got a very low glass transition temperature, so the melting point is very low. If you want something a bit more sturdy, a bit more strong, more for use for functional parts, great for outdoor use, I would go for PETG. Also prints relatively easy. It's a great balance between strength and ease of use. If you want something with high strength and high heat resistance for durable functional parts or brackets, I would use ABS. Only downside to ABS is you need an enclosure to print it and you can't use it for outdoor use. The UV rays damage the plastics and it bursts. If you want something for outdoor use with the same quality as ABS, same durability and strength and high heat resistance, I would go for ASA. It is an absolute great plastic. Only thing is you need an enclosure for these two plastics. Otherwise, you're going to experience a lot of warping and you're going to struggle to print it. If you need to print something that's flexible like this, then you're going to use TPU. This is a strap I printed for my light to mount on my bicycle. TPU is also very good for cell phone covers. It's a very flexible plastic. Once again, you don't need an enclosure to print it. It's not that difficult to print. You just slow your prints down a bit. But other than that, it prints perfectly fine. Other filament types you get is nylon, carbon fiber, polycarbonate plastics. That's also very high heat plastics, high resistance, very good for functional parts. But you need an enclosure for, to print that part. You won't be able to get away without an enclosure. It's very difficult to print those plastics. But once again, if you get it right, your parts are going to be very strong, very awesome for mechanical use. So guys, that's a quick overview of the different plastics you get and your use cases for them. If there's any other plastics you guys would like to see, any other plastics you want, to, want me to talk about, comment down below, hit me up. And as always, happy printing.